Hello everyone! Today, I'm going to be showing you which cubes I brought to college with me. Yeah, I'm in college, I'm not like 12. Crazy, right? I have been living in a moderately crusty University of Maryland dorm for about a month now, and I want to show you which cubes that I brought with me from home to keep myself entertained. Initially, I planned to bring about 20 puzzles, uh, mostly my WCA event mains, as well as some uh, shape mods and maybe a big cube. However, I got to campus and a few days later realized I forgot a cube, so I ended up bringing 21 puzzles. So today, I want to show you all my puzzles and all my cubing accessories that I brought with me to campus. So I keep most of my cubes and cube-related items in this drawer of my second desk. The desk doesn't have any dividers within it, so all the cubes are kind of freestanding and they tend to uh, jostle around a lot. So they're not really laid out in any order, but these are the cubes that I brought. So first off, in terms of the accessories, we have uh, two cube bags in case I need to take a cube anywhere. And then I also brought one cube stand, a stack mat timer, and then a cable if I want to connect it to my laptop. So then just to go from top to bottom, we have uh, these two first up. These are the Max GAN cubes. You have the XS and the X. I just brought these because I like to play with them. Neither of them are my main. And then I also wanted to bring a couple of shape mods, so I brought some very iconic ones. Classic mirror blocks. And then also the Axis cube, just because it looks really cool when it gets scrambled. Then most of the other puzzles are my mains. So I have the Angstrom Valk 2 for 2x2. And then this is actually an old main. This is the Celeritas WRM. I uh, have since upgraded to the new WRM but I still like to have this puzzle around. Then we have the Angstrom Aosu GTS-2M, the Valk 5, then we have the Shadow 6x6, and the Spark 7x7. Honestly, I haven't been practicing a lot of big cubes recently, uh, just because, you know, they, they take a while and I'm, I have uh, lost all my motivation, but <laughs> it's still fun to have them around. So now this thing rolling around is the Yeet Ball. I brought it just because it's funny and it's actually a pretty simple puzzle to solve. I was going to keep it on the stand, but it ended up being too tall to fit into this drawer, which is very unfortunate. So then the other puzzles here, we have the RS3M. It's just a puzzle that I like to play with, uh, not a main or anything. And then we have my square one, the Volt version 1M, and my Wingy Skew. The last two puzzles in here are a gear cube, just because I wanted something different to have if, if I ever got bored with regular puzzles. And then my uh, fun non-cuber puzzle that I can give to friends if they want to feel accomplished. It only has six pieces, so it's pretty easy to solve. So that's it for the main drawer. And then, like I said earlier, the drawer is very uh, shallow, so I can't fit some of my taller puzzles in it. So up here on the top of my desk, I have two pyraminxes. I don't really like pyraminx, but I couldn't decide which one of these I liked better to use as my main, so I brought them both. The one here on the left is the X-Man Bell V2, and then we have the Chi MS on the right. Then back here we have my main Mega, and this is the Yuhu V2M. And I brought one big cube, bigger than 7x7, this is my Meilong 12x12. I chose to bring this one because it's my second biggest puzzle, and it's nice and compact. I wasn't about to bring my 17x17. Then lastly, on my main desk, I keep my main 3x3, which is the Moyu WRM 2020. I also have a cube cover, which is the Valk box, and then one cubicle mat just for practicing and filming videos on. Also, I'll give you guys a sneak peek at my next few videos. I just got a new order in from the cubicle, and we got the Shinghen TSM 2x2, and the uh, MGC 7x7 and the new Qi Magnetic Clock. This is my first clock ever, so I'm really excited to start playing with that. So yeah, those are the puzzles that I brought to my dorm with me. Uh, I'm really only playing with like a fourth of them, mostly just my smaller WCA mains. I've been doing like two, three, four, five, and then some square one and mega minks, but those are really the only puzzles I'm using. Uh, <laughs> I haven't really touched my big cube, but <laughs> I'll get around to it eventually. Now I don't have my uh, normal fancy studio that I have from home uh, at campus, obviously. So if you saw my last video where I made Rubik's Cube cookies, you can check out a cool little set that I managed to scrap together uh, for doing a little face cam talk. I basically put up some lights in the background and uh, made my face all bright with the background all dark. I thought it looked kind of cool. So if you like that, I can continue doing that in my future videos, but I'll figure out how to frame everything for these next few unboxings. Uh, the clock will probably be the next one. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be a fun video. If for some reason you want to see a room tour, it's really not that fancy, but as you can see, I'm channeling my inner Derpy Cuber. I have my piano with me. Uh, so I've been playing that a lot. 
cubing a lot and uh, it's a good time. Either way, that's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.